Erythrina is a genus of around 130 trees and shrubs in the Fabaceae, or bean family. The flower morphology is influenced by the birds that have commonly been attracted to their nectar. Birds are attracted to the red color, and the lack of scent is commonly associated with bird-pollinated flowers. They are distributed throughout tropical and subtropical regions worldwide, from Hawaii to South America and Africa to Australia. This is because their buoyant seeds can disperse through the ocean. In Hawaii, the wood of erythrinas is used for surfboards. The erythrina pictured here is Erythrina coralloides variety bicolor. It has two forms of flowers, white and red. An individual inflorescence can contain both types of flowers. Erythrina seeds are often very colorful and are sometimes used as jewelry. Another family of flowers commonly pollinated by birds is the Proteaceae. The Proteaceae is restricted to the southern hemisphere. This species is the King Protea, which is native to South Africa. King Proteas are pollinated by sugar birds and sunbirds, which are attracted to their nectar. The flowers of the Proteaceae are usually arranged in inflorescences and are highly modified. As the style lengthens, it eventually pops out of the flower, sometimes covered in pollen, but there are usually methods to avoid self-fertilization. Members of the Proteaceae commonly grow in dry habitats, so they have thick, hard leaves, which are called sclerophic. This prevents moisture loss. Another genus of bird-pollinated flowers is Strelitzia, commonly known as birds of paradise. In their native habitat, they are pollinated by sunbirds, but I have seen hummingbirds on campus pollinate these flowers. The plants produce orange hairs on their seeds. Another interaction with a bird is the mode of seed dispersal in Pisonia umbilifera, aka the bird catcher tree. The fruits of this plant are extremely viscid and can stick to birds and be moved to new habitats. This particular plant on campus has taken the life of a bird. The Orchidaceae, or orchids, are one of the most diverse families on Earth. They have evolved ridiculous relationships with their pollinators and have complicated relationships with their mycorrhizal fungi which range from parasitic to mutualistic. In the wild, orchids rely on their mycorrhizae to give them carbon and nutrients for germination. This is because orchids have some of the smallest seeds on Earth, as small as dust particles, which have little to no endosperm. The relationship between orchids and their pollinators is also incredible. Some orchids have evolved to look like bees or spiders to trick insects into pollinating them. Because of these complicated relationships, orchid diversity can be breathtaking. People can become absolutely obsessed with them and start going mad and collecting them and putting them in shows or spending hours training so they can judge them and photograph them or just spend way too much money on them.